everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to break down how to create this dolly zoom or vertigo effect. I'm going to go ahead and play it right here, and this is what the effect looks like. The subject stays still, but the background will start to zoom out. So it's honestly a really cool effect. There are a whole bunch of different varieties and different ways you can create this effect, but this is the effect or the look that I went for. My person doesn't move, but the background starts to zoom out. I think this is a really cool effect, and like I said before, there's many different varieties and different ways you can do this. This is just the way that I chose to do it. Now, on top of here is an adjustment layer for color correction. So I have my color wheels, my temperature, and my color curves. Uh, it's just normal to put an adjustment layer for color correction and I always encourage you if you have multiple layers um, to just put an adjustment layer that way you don't have to manually go through and color correct every single one of your footage so now what's this layer for now both of these are freeze frames so you want to obviously create a freeze frame and this layer is just a shot of me and then this layer down below is just a clean plate so it's a shot without me in it that's the important part so you want to have a shot of just you and then you want to sh have a shot of just the background so that would be a clean plate and both of these are frozen let's click on this top layer and head over to the inspector window and as you can see right here, boom, it's literally just a draw mask. So I went ahead and just cut around myself using a draw mask. I adjusted the feather a little bit and you can adjust the feather and the fall off, whatever looks good to you. But you literally, I just literally just cut myself out with a draw mask. You go into the effects panel right here, mask, and as you can see, draw mask. So that's where you actually find um, the draw mask right there. So you just take the, go to the effects, mask, and you apply a draw mask onto the top clip. Make sure both of the frames are frozen and that's literally it. You're literally just cutting yourself out via a draw mask. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, well how in the world did you make the background move? Well, as before, the background is a freeze frame. So let's go ahead and disable the top clip. And as you can see right here, it's literally just a shot of the background um, without me in it. So let's go ahead and click on this clip. And as you can see right here, it's literally just keyframed. So I started, at, I went to the beginning of the clip and then I typed in 150%. Obviously, this is all different depending on the look you want. But I started at 150% at the beginning of the clip, then I keyframed it. So first input um, your number, so 200%, 300%, however you want. I just started with 150. I keyframed the scale at the beginning then I went to the end and I keyframed it back to 100. So I'm going to go ahead and try to play this and try to watch and watch this. Watch the transform, watch the scale all. Scale X, scale Y, scale all. That's all keyframed. So I'm going to go ahead and try to play it. So as you can see right here, watch this and see if it'll work. As you can see right there, I'll go ahead and start back. So click on the clip and then watch this keyframe. So let's go ahead and play it. 150, 140, 130. See, it's literally just this bottom clip, see back to, and then it keyframes to boom, 100%. So literally all you're doing is you're literally, as you can see right here, 150, 144, 130. It just is basically keyframe. So you're literally just keyframing the scale. And then I added some music um, from Epidemic Sound. So literally, both these clips are frozen. The top layer, you just want to cut out yourself or cut out whatever object is in the screen, subject or whatever. You just cut it out via a draw mask. And then at the bottom, you just have a clean plate of your background and you're literally just keyframing the scale. And that is how you, and then you, obviously you can add some color correction, add some music, whatever you want. But that is literally, this, this effect is very simple and very easy um, to create. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 80 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.